My name's TJ, this is Mike, John, Tim. Back Tim from my deathly pancreas disease. Yeah, we just picked him up from the hospital. How, how is that new pancreas disease? It's doing all right. I'd show you guys the scar, but you know, it's under bandages, so. Yeah. And it's a little big, though, right? Yeah. A little scar. Tim and I are going to tell you last week for the Pavlos, and this is the connection. Okay, we have a caller off the bat. Hello. Yes, I'm Mike. I've been on the contest of the basketball game. Oh, really? Who do you think won? Well, last week I had to go with the pot roll, so this week uh, I'll pick the ultimate connection. All right. Ooh. Thank you. And well, wait, who is oh, this? Who is yeah, this? Who is this? Dave again. Dave. Dave. Right. Dave, Dave you're going for your caller here, Dave. Right. Going for a Thank second you. shirt, folks. Thank you very much. We'd also like to say that we'd like someone else to call in who thinks that the pot roast won, so, so whoever if, wins. We Anyone who weapon. wants to win a t-shirt, exactly. just call in. Just call in. Easy t-shirt. Anyone you know. who thinks the pot roast can beat us in basketball, call. So anyone who's smart. Anyone in their right mind. Phone. Anyone in their right mind. Oh, there, yeah, you got it. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. No. Our show. Hello. <laughs> oh, Mike O'Reilly? Yeah, this is. Hey, Mike, what's up, bud? Not much. Um, I just like to say that I think the connection is going to win the basketball. Yeah. All right, later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, tonight our show will consist of uh, three three parts again. The competition this week we played basketball, and um, last or we'll have the comedy with our very own Dan Colth, or otherwise known as Opie, and then we will bring on Megan McLaughlin and Becky Stewart for our uh, the talk part of the show. And I turn it over now to John to tell you about the competition. All right, this week, as everyone knows, we play basketball, and we still need another caller who thinks that the pot roast won. Um, this week, we did play basketball in the gym, and as soon as we get another caller, we'll be able to roll that tape. So, we taped it, yeah. So we, we need another caller, and we have one. Hello. I'd like to talk about the pot roast. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I don't think the pot roasts are that good at all. <laughs> O'Reilly and Mike can beat them. Oh, no. <laughs> well, thank you for your call. All right, who was that genius? <laughs> if, if we're not going to have another caller, I guess we can go to that tape, hey? All right, let's roll it.
Yeah, All right. There you go. As you as you saw, the connection obviously won in basketball. It wasn't even close. We were winning eleven or ten to two. And we just Up to eleven. And then yeah. we said maybe we should try. You no, think actually, you actually, actually, the Pat Rose had a what five to nothing run on yeah. Tim, and I were, Tim and I were out at a buffet. We're loaded. Since they edited out phone. my four dunks, yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. So if if David would call back, Dave, please give please us a call, call back. Take David, one of these lovely are. shirts off our hands. And then Dave, you got a caller. Hello. 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 All right, Dave. David. I'm cleaning the house, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what what shirt would you like? Ah. Uh, how about any one that's clean? <laughs> Actually, they're all clean. Uh, that, hey, don't be, so, a shirt up here, don't be so picky. Come on. Take one that's here. All right, the 49ers one. All right. Is that right? Yeah, it would have been my choice, but... That's it. That's a small. It'll probably fit you, baby. Yeah, <laughs> extra small. I can't fit. see it wouldn't fit over your rope, though. <laughs> <laughs> the power rope's better stick to unathletic activities. <laughs> I hear you. Right. today. Like, like hiking? Oh. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> so I get caught in a raft. I wish you get a shot of where he threw that. Get a shot of that, Harry. Dave, there's your T-shirt. Come on, can we get, get a shot of that? Get a shot. No, no. Oh, oh I forgot. Your camera work. Yeah, thank you for your call. All right, next week our competition is going to be badminton. State we, champs. Oh, we're the we're, we're the champs. The reigning uh, state champs. As we'll go into the gym. Right, we'll we're going to tell you right now, if you call in, call in for the pot roast. We'll give you a little... We'll give you a little... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Got cut. I don't know, Batman takes a lot of running. Yeah, and they're not real mobile. Alright, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait until next week to see what happens with that. Right now, it is time. It's time. Is it time? It's, it's time. time. Opie's Corner. Featuring Dan Koth or Opie. Take it away. You want to introduce it first? Oh, sure. Thank you. Well, this week we just decided to do something a little different, and uh, we decided to run a little bit of Opie's Classics, as some of you uneducated people might or might not know. I'm involved with the school paper, Pioneer Outlook here at the Greendale High School, and I've been fortunate enough to do a few articles. So uh, if we could get a close-up. You can get a close-up of this guy? Friend, Tim's holding over here. Ryan, quit smoking crack and get on this. Get a close up on this, guys. Hey, All right, cool. there it is. There we go. I got this thing. So All right, so if you see that, this is from the December 1991 issue of the Pioneer Outlook. I just you like can, to. You can call in and get these anytime you want them. Right, phone number right. here. You got, got copies. Go the phone number here at 3B is 423-8036. So give us a call. Talk to us or talk to hey. Opie. Oh, I apologize. That's all right. Perfect. There you go. Right there, Tim. So without further ado, I'd just like to present you with. Uh, a few of my tips on uh, actually term papers, something uh, us upperclassmen have struggled through quite a bit lately in the past few years. First tip I'd like to say is just uh, when you're choosing a topic, choose a topic that your teacher really knows a lot. Uh, I know it may seem boring to do one on, on, uh, on the lyrics of like Perry Como or somebody, but it may be worth those few extra points to get an A. And uh, if you want, you know, I can spice it up a bit, play a few few of the albums backwards and uh, look for satanic messages here and there or lyrics from a Twisted Sister album. You never know what Perry Como might have pulled off. <laughs> also, uh, second tip I got for you is just kind of build a little extra time for yourself. Put, put that guilt chip on your teacher, you know. Uh, when you find out your teacher won't be available to help out after school, then that's the best time to go in. Go in for help at those times and when they ask you where your paper is, you just tell them, well, I, you know, I would have had it for you, but you know, you weren't there when I needed help. so. You want to be gentle with that one, though, because teachers hate to break down in front of their whole class. You don't want them crying and stuff like that. Uh, you might even want to try using real thick sheets of paper, even like cardboard. That really makes the paper look good. You know, five pages of that really thick stuff can look like 10 or 20 of uh, normal pages quite easily, actually. And uh, hopefully your teacher will be really tired, correct them late at night, and forget to count the pages that you have. Fourth tip I got for you is uh, something we're all familiar with, note cards. When you're writing out your note cards, the maximum words you want on one is 10. No more than 10 words. Any more than that, and you'll be babbling worse than a politician at a news conference. Besides, you really think your teacher has a time to read every note card? I <laughs> doubt it. All right, and the fifth tip I got for you is, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, about a year ago we had a little a computer virus running around called Michelangelo. So with that, what you want to do is tell your teacher, you know, uh, hey, the latest computer virus attacked my computer, so I couldn't type it up. 
And uh, any one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will do it. It doesn't have to be Michelangelo. Uh, sixth tip I got for you is that thing we know, persuasion. Use persuasion to force your teacher into giving you that good grade. You know, tell him or her, uh, you know, I worked so hard on this paper. I'd be very disappointed if I didn't get a good grade, especially since I had to quit sports, tell my parents I couldn't go to the funeral and stuff like that. You, know, you get the picture. Right? Like Tim's case, the pancreas thing, that'll always work real well. <laughs> killer. Uh, yeah, it is a killer. Or right, stomach flu. Stomach yeah, flu. stomach flu. Stomach flu is good. Uh, anyways, uh, seventh tip, convince your teacher that it's too hard to do a works cited page, something I think most of us can attest to, works cited pages. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Yeah, it, Terrible. Oh, they're, they're pain, Plus man. Show. So uh, <coughs> what you do is you tell them you got this works cited page on a five book set of foreign stories that was written by five <laughs> anonymous people, had seven <laughs> subtitles, was published in 11 different countries over 22 years, <laughs> doesn't have an English version, and is only available on microfiche. That's a killer. <laughs> And uh, lastly, what you got to do is come up with a really good thesis statement. This is one I've been fortunate enough to use, one like this. The primacy on patriotic libretto has metamorphosed since the incipients of our promontory. This can best be ascertained in the transcribed forms of orthometry. And it's already been taken, like I say, but it's great though, isn't it? So with that, that about concludes my segment. I hope these tips are helpful, and uh, I'd send it back to the four guys over here. Thank you, Dave. Okay. Thanks for your time. Nice Thank tips you. on term papers. Next Thank week, you. Dan Colt will be doing Separated at Birth. Try to get to that. OP classic. Try He's going to take them. people from Greendale High School and find their twins that they were separated with at birth. It should be very interesting. Right. All right. Who we'll win a t-shirt on that one? Oh, you can oh, definitely win a t-shirt. Maybe even two. You might give two out. Yeah, and maybe. Depends. Know. Depends what our supplies are. Yeah. All right. I'd like to introduce to you two class act ladies from Greendale High School. Two girls who need no introduction, Megan McLaughlin and Becky Stewart. Before we bring them off for you, we're going to show a little clip. You got that clip? Roll it, clever. Roll it, roll it. Cue it up. Tonight. <laughs> roll it. <laughs>
very uh, for your uh, pleasure. Viewing I guess. pleasure. Uh, this is Becky. Can you get a shot of me? Come on. There's Becky, there's and Becky here's Becky. Megan, and again, there's Opie. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh. oh. All right. All right, we, we have we, some questions for question. these girls here. Right. Oh, hold, but, while we're doing any calls, if you want hey, to call in, we got a call. So any call question, 423 Good job, Tim. Thank you. That's you guys might, uh, might want to write that down, too. Write it down. I got that. All right, no. hit it, Joe. All right. Viewers, right? All right, this, this oh. question's for Becky. <laughs> when did you start playing volleyball, and were you always a standout? Um, well, I, I probably started. <laughs> <laughs> I probably started when I was like in fifth grade, because my parents were like really into volleyball, and then basically because I was so tall, I guess I kind of stood out with it. <laughs> okay, uh, another question for Becky here. After losing so many people from last year's team, did you feel pressure laid on your shoulders for this coming season, for being like um, Well, last year we were, it, we kind of had a lot of standouts last year, and this year we totally like concentrated on like being a team. I think we all, it wasn't so much on my shoulders, just how like everyone improved and stuff like that, that it was just, it was a team effort like the whole time, so. Okay. Oh, you visited a couple colleges, right? I visited Syracuse. And Northern Illinois. Okay. Um, let's see. If I get back to the college, you went to Northern Illinois and just Syracuse, was it? Yeah, that's. I took a visit in Syracuse like early, or late September or something like that. So those I had like offers from other schools, but then I decided not to <laughs> go because it. When I when I was told my Northern visit, I knew right away that that's where I wanted to go. Okay. What was it? Well, what was it about the school? Yeah, what did you like? You like so much? Just everything. The the coaches were really cool. The players, and I wanted to make sure I went somewhere where my parents could watch me play because they were just like such an influence and gave me so much support and stuff like that. So that was really important for me, and the campus was great. Okay. All right. Before we go to Megan, we have a caller. Hello. Bruce Kowski. Bruce Kowski. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? We're Pretty doing good. great. Um, this question is for Becky. I was wondering how you strike those balls so hard. Does that feel good? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> well, so, I was pointing, so, I mean, you must be just so happy. It, it, it's thrilling, let me tell you. Yes, I'm just looking forward. I hope you have a good season, and I hope you do well in college. Hey, Bruce. Thanks. Did you go in the weigh room to tone your muscles? What? Did you go in the weight room to tone your muscles with Josh last week? Yes, Josh, oh my god, he helped <laughs> me so much. How are your buns doing? Are they I, firm? I can flex them in and out. <laughs> 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 you can just notice the new tension on them. <laughs> Alright, well thank you for your call, Bruce. That's our call next week. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, Megan, uh, before a race, you get nervous, and uh, if so, how do you get over it and get ready to run? Well, I get very nervous before my races, um, I don't know, because I just start freaking out, like I start thinking about the race and what's going to happen, and so I just kind of have to go off by myself and just like concentrate and just like try and get under control and then just kind of get ready for the race because I get very nervous. So. Doesn't that help you though, like get the adrenaline going? Yeah, I suppose it gets the adrenaline going, but <laughs> when I feel sick and <laughs> oh, I don't know, but it makes me go faster, I guess. So. Alright, we have caller. a caller. Hello. Hey, I have a question for Opie. Opie. Oh. Yeah. What is your question? Uh, oh, can you beat Megan in a race? <laughs> oh, that'd be tough. I, <laughs> Distance, you, maybe. You know, you might be confusing me in Nichols, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, it would be close. I'd have to, I, I don't know, it would be close. I, doubtful, though. Uh, she's pretty quick. She's a good runner, too. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Thank you, all right, I have another question for Megan. Yep. Do you have anybody in track that you would look up to as like a role model and try to take after? Yeah, well, you guys saw in that last that last race when I was getting killed by that one girl. Um, she was Dana Collins. She graduated last year, and she was just a really good sprinter. She was ranked fifth in the nation by like track and field oh, magazines. Wow. And so I'd been racing against her wow. since like freshman year, and so I'd just always been chasing her, and she was have, really. Have you ever beaten her? No. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'd stay close behind her sometimes, but <laughs> she's yeah. gone now, though. Isn't so she? she's gone this year. So hopefully it opens the door for me. All right. All right. All right. Back to Becky. Do you expect a big change in college volleyball compared to high school? 
and how will you change your game to fit into that change of style? Yeah, but, uh, college volleyball is going to be like a lot quicker and a lot harder. There's a lot more like conditioning that goes into it, and it's just to change. I'm going to have to like totally start. I mean, I've been slacking off so far, so I'll totally have to like start working out more and stuff like that. Okay, Megan, I got one for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, you raced what in the four hundred? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. oh. The 200 is not hot roast. Yeah, hot roast. Hot roast. That's all right, though. Okay, uh, That's all right, though. What, what was your favorite event? What is it? Um, probably 200, because the 100 is over so fast, and so it's like you take like five steps and you're done. And I don't know, the long jump last year was the first year that I kind of really did it a lot. But the 200 is like perfect for me. I like that one best. What's it's most good challenging distance. for you? What do you have to work on the most? Mm, probably, well, long jump, there's so much technique and stuff. I mean, like in the running events, I just have to work on starts and then you just run as fast as you can. But, but with the long jump, Mr. Mac can help you out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Mac. Yep. Key to everyone's success. <laughs> Okay. Uh, if anyone wants to call in, you know, you can ask them questions, ask us questions, uh, ask about any of these goofy things we have on our table, or... Rat deer? <laughs> rat deer. can ask about rat deer. Of course, we'll we don't exactly know what it is right now yet. Yes. So. We already told the story last week, though. Yeah. So. Okay. Go on. Got a question, Tim? <laughs> Tim, you got a question? Oh, I, got a quite, I got a question. I got a question first. All right. First, we have a caller, I believe. Do we have a caller? I got a question for Opie. Ah. For Opie. <laughs> You're a stud. Yeah. <laughs> Opie, you just want to pull a chair up here? Uh, yeah. I'll find my couch. All right. Oh, I uh, just wondering if those are your girlfriends on the couch. There. Yeah, these are. Uh, <laughs> yep, we uh, invited them on my couch, and, uh, you know, we're just having a good time out here personally. Right? What's your secret, buddy? <laughs> well, I think it's my unbelievable charm. What I a guess. stud, eh? Isn't he a stud? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at him. Yep. Yeah, well, you know, it's. Just a thing that comes naturally, I guess, for some people. You know, sometimes you gotta struggle. Sometimes it just comes to you. You know, I, you know, it's just one of those things you gotta dance with every now and then. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> nice chip. I, I've got a question. All right, Becky, how do you plan on budgeting your time between practice and college and between your academics? Well, I'm gonna see well, me playing volleyball is like my job, and it'd kind of be the same if I had a job. So I'm just gonna. Basically, they have like scheduling already set up for me, like being a player and stuff like that. That they have it all. Like my time, my day would be totally scheduled out already. For me. Makes mm -hmm. it easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Megan. Yeah. With like, you're probably like with Dana Collins graduating. You're probably like the favorite in like the whole state for like your events. So, mm -hmm. with being like such a well-known track star, how will you choose one college from like the other? Like when you start deciding on yeah. colleges? Well, it's hard. I mean, I've taken a couple visits, and I have two more set up, and I'm just going to kind of have to see, like, the most important part, you know, about it is the school and how, if I like the school and stuff, and then as far as, like, the coaches and team and everything, if I like the coaches, so just going to have to see when I find a college that has just everything that I'm looking for, I guess. Have you, it's hard. Have you visited, like, any colleges yet? Talk yeah, I visited Southern Illinois, and I visited Madison. How'd you like, so, how'd you like those? I liked them both. Like, really? the coaches were both really cool, and the team was cool, so. All right. Yep. How did you get, how did you come about to get the visits? Did you send tapes, or? Yeah, or like, we sent out letters, and then we'd send out tapes, and then the coaches would call, and, you know, just start talking to them, and then they'll, they'll set up the visit and everything, so. Yeah. Okay. Any other schools you're going to be going to soon? Yeah, I'm visiting Miami of Ohio and probably Kansas. So. Be in what? the same conference with Josh. Yep. <laughs> so. What event would you like to run in college? I mean, you're probably not be able to run all of them. No. Well, I'd like to run the 200, but once you get to college, it's kind of hard. I'll, they'll probably move me up into more like the 200, 400. Really? Because I'm not as good, you know, like out of the black. So they'll probably move me up a little, but whatever I can do. So. Do, you, do you care like how far away you go to school just um do you want to stay somewhere closer yeah I mean I don't necessarily have to stay in state because I'm looking mostly just like in the Midwest like I don't want to go to either like I don't want to go east or west coast but I'm looking more like Midwest and around here more so. okay. all right all right we've 
gave questions to all these people on the couch, including Opie. Anyone has any questions, please call. Ask call. questions. You, you shall leave Becky. You can call. We'll make fun of you. Kristen, ask questions. We got Becky, the volleyball star, Megan, the track star, Opie. She's a star. He's a star. Anything you want him to be. He's a star. At He's a stubmobile. <laughs> yeah. I think we have a caller. Hello. I was just wondering if uh, the Windsor's ever going to play varsity boys basketball. Yes, it's are. in the making. It's it is in the making. My agent's been talking to uh, to Our Mr. Pettiprin. Yeah, he, like you guys have one. We, we, <laughs> uh, we are either going to be playing after the basketball season, and if we do play in an assembly, they will get so embarrassed they will probably never show their faces. We're going to play during school. during school in front of the whole entire student, student, student body. School. Refs to see just how bad the boys' varsity team what a, oh, got six? Oh. will get beat <laughs> by a bunch of inner Merle scrubs. What? 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 You guys sure? Because I heard you were pretty scared. Oh. oh. Um, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is Dan, right? Yeah. At, see, when we play this little competition in basketball, Dorian, you're going to get fired on. They are so <laughs> pitiful basketball hey. players. They're, they don't even match up with the varsity team. When we played our little competition, uh, we felt sorry for John because he had to be on the team. He felt obligated because <laughs> you know he's friends with Coach K. And Wait, didn't didn't we uh, play them in open hey gym before? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, you got a question? We'll play the girls' varsity first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll see, they'd probably give us a better run hey, for our Dan. money than you guys would. We'll see. We'll see. Are you, are, you start, are you starting for them? Yep. Yep. You'll probably you probably warm the pines for them too. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All Thanks right. for your call, Dan. <laughs> sure. Any idiots like that that call, uh, don't even bother. Hey. Sorry. And we Sorry. have another idiot that'll probably call. Hey, yeah, no. Hello. What do you want, Chris? What do you want? My gosh, you just told the moonwalk from Michael Jackson. No. Oh, this yeah. Is a, this Mike a, does a great moonwalk. This isn't, this isn't a Michael Jackson. Let's clear <laughs> off the table. We can, you can do a round table. But you're bragging how good you are at it, so why don't you get up and show everyone? Well, of oh. course I'm good at it, but I'm not going to do it on TV. <laughs> That's because he's a chicken like the rest of the wizards. Oh! oh. 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 I'm not going to do the moonwalk. We're going to sick Mercia on you pretty soon. Right, I'm doing the moonwalk. Oh, we lost our moonwalk. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get this dropper. Uh, uh, Derek, I'm just get, just get a close up on his feet. Come on, Derek. <laughs> Smooth right, feet of Mike Get on the feet. There we go. <laughs> you on? All right, it's going to look crazy because I'm on carpet. It's not going to look that good. All right, wait. Mike taught Michael Jackson this, you know. Oh. Get the oh. I just want to sing Thriller when I see that. I just want to <laughs> These are the really Thriller. Thriller. All right, thanks for the call. Yep, bye. All right. Work it. <laughs> Punching in. <laughs> we have another call. Hello. Um, pot roast. Yeah. yeah. Yes, what about the pot roast? How do you plan to win this uh, mitten game? Here. Mitten yeah. game? <laughs> Bads it! Oh, Bads it. <laughs> how do you plan on winning? Tim, how are we going to win at Mitten? Well, considering our competition, you know, we could play any sport and it wouldn't really make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Even Mitten. Even basketball. Even, even basketball. basketball. <laughs> even of course, we, you know, we gave you guys the benefit of the doubt. That's no problem. <laughs> well, thank oh. you for your call. You're welcome. Joel. Okay. Joel. Joel. Any, does anybody have any last minute questions for Becky or Megan or Opie or us or anybody or our studio audience? We have a studio audience here. You're going to shout out the studio, studio audience? Studio audience. Let's right see. Us. Don't audience. cover up Let's your face. Us. No, come on. <laughs> come on. We know our studio audience. Come on, Ryan. Right. There he is. Yeah. yeah. We got the, the bearded the lady in the room. The bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, he's the one. He's, he's cleaning house yeah, he's here. He's got t shirts. Oh, we got a we got a phone got call. A Hello. <laughs> That's not cool. That's uncool. That's unclutch, people. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be like those kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So that pretty much wraps up our. <laughs> Second episode of Shack Talk. Maybe oh, not. One, one Maybe more not. call. Hello. Yeah, this is Doman. Doman. I just like to say this show's awesome, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Oh, no. oh man. Oh man. Who do you think's gonna win the badminton competition? Um, I don't know. I've never played that game. 
But hey, but just just by looking at at the table here, who do you think's gonna win? Yeah. Because yeah. he's one of us. He's one of us. Nichols couldn't even fit in the pot roast category, all right? Mike, you know why? She jealous she never threw to him, really. Oh, really? Oh, really? All right, all right, oh, man, we've, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, that about wraps us up. We'd just like to remind everyone that Famine is the competition next week. We do not know who our guest is. I'm as sure a, it will be someone right interesting. Yes. And we, uh, one, one thing left to closing, uh... Tim Mercier? Tim Mercier's like got something here. to say. I'd like to do a little, uh, promo. Uh, it's not too late to get a, uh, Valentine's gift for your, your, uh, favorite gal or favorite guy. Uh, there's a nice store right in your back door. It's called Decoration for Celebrations. Get I've heard of that. I've heard of it. I've heard of that. I heard of it. Well, good, good quality. Good work. I heard they make excellent yes. things. You can get a hold of them. 282-5114. You know, get that number down and... Two. Eight. Two, five, one, one, four. That's great. Excellent quality gifts here. So it's never too late. Okay, and that wraps uh, it up. So uh, we'd like to thank our, our guests here. We'd uh, love to thank you. We'd love yes. to thank you guys. We'd shake Thanks. your hands, but we're stuck in this table. And please tune in next week for our third show. At 3.30 next Thursday. And we'll see we're, you next week. We're out of here. Bye-bye. Oops. <laughs>